Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from Massage Chair Relief, and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. Uh, I just got over COVID. This is my second bout with it. The first one was when, the, uh, when it first came around, and then uh, I, I caught it uh, a week and a half ago, and uh, now I'm out of the woods and not contagious anymore. However, I am still coughing quite a bit. So if I start to cough, please forgive me. I don't, I don't mean to be rude. And I'm not savvy enough to edit that, <laughs> that section out of, the, out of the video when it gets to editing. But anyways, th thank you for joining me today. Now, um, we had our live stream last week with John Cribbs. This was right before I got COVID. And John Cribbs is the executive vice president of Cozia Massage Chairs. And as you may or may not know, Cozia and Ogawa and JP Medics and Brookstone and Ergotech are all part of the same company. And they're all uh, part and parcel with the Ogawa factory in Xiamen, China. And we discussed that to some degree in the, in the, uh, in the uh, live stream. Uh, and you're welcome to join, uh, take a look at it. It's, you can see it on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, and on our Twitter page. Uh, we talked about uh, the new model, the the uh, Master Drive Duo Max, or sorry, the Master Drive Duo from Ogawa. Uh, he also talked briefly about a new chair technology that will be coming out in the fall called uh, on, in a model called the Quantum, Ocosia Quantum, but we don't know much more than that. I've asked John to send me a, a text or an email with that information so I can precisely list what that chair has that makes it unique from the other chairs. Uh, and John is uh, John is a great conversationalist. He's he's really very well known in the industry. Really knows the industry. He's been in the industry forever and a day, uh, much longer than I've been in. And I've been in it for eighteen years. Uh, he's been in it lo lo much longer than that. So, anyways, uh, check out the live stream. I think you'll enjoy it. Our next live stream will be in March. The date has not been firmed up yet, but it'll be with Nicholas Beese, who is the uh, the U.S. Uh, I don't know exactly what his title is, but he's kind of the the head of the U.S. operations for Cinco Wellness, Interbalance, and uh, and now the new Fujiyorki line, which are coming out since uh, uh, Johnson Tech, which is the parent company of all those companies, bought uh, the Mount Fuji uh, factory in China, and so I think I've mentioned in my other broadcast that. Uh, Nicholas and I spoke at the uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show, and they are introducing three new chairs for the Fujiyorki line, and those will be made in Japan chairs, not made in Japan like the it's it's all built in China and then exported to Japan for for uh, for assembly testing and 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 and, uh, and uh, uh, programming, but it'll be legitimately a good a high percentage of it will be made in Japan at that factory. So we're going to be uh, chatting about those things on our live stream, and that'll probably be mid-March. I'm heading down there to Southern California to meet with uh, with Nicholas uh, and see uh, the prototypes, or at least the, uh, um, the, uh, the, the first run of some of these chairs, the first samples of some of these chairs that are coming out. Cinco will also be having two new models. So there'll be three new models for the, Fujiyorki brand and then two for the Sinka brand and uh, I'll be going down there on the 11th and the 12th and visiting with Nicholas to, to discuss the and take a look at some whatever he's got in at that point uh, to, to have a look at so when we will have some context when we meet probably a week or so later to, to for the live stream but anyway stay tuned for that that'll be interesting uh, some Japanese chairs uh, Japanese made chairs there's not many of them in the market we're starting to see more of them uh, uh, like the JP, uh, or sorry, the, um, yeah, the, uh, not the JP, the, um, yeah, it's the JP 3000. That's the, the latest chair for Sinka before this new batch comes out. And that chair is the, uh, about 80% of that chair is made in Japan already. And now we'll be seeing a few more models. Uh, so it'll, it, we're starting to see the pendulum swing. See, Japan was, is the homeland or the fountainhead of massage chairs, right? <clears throat> That's where it first started. And, um, uh, the story behind it is kind of interesting, at least the legend that I've been told and that I've read. Um, a, a, a sewing machine parts salesman created a, 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 a precursor to what we have today as a massage chair for his daughter who had terrible headaches 
and was not able to find any relief at all. So he created uh, some little rollers that go in the back of this. I believe it was a kitchen or dining room chair. And he created the very first uh, prototype, if you will. Even though I don't know if he meant for it to be a prototype, but he created a new technology uh, and or maybe old technology, but deployed it in a new way. And uh, that was in Japan. And uh, shortly thereafter, within a couple of years, a few years after that, that was in the late 50s, I understand. And then uh, and then like Panasonic, Inada, um, these these other these Japanese companies started producing these these chairs massively or, in, you know, in volume and uh, distributing them around the around around Japan originally, but then around the world. And of course, now today it's blossomed into this thriving industry, which uh, for better, for worse, is 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 growing like uh, like quite a bit. Anyways, uh, so. The, these chairs uh, that we're going to be and I'm going to be seeing are, are going to some of them are kind of new. Uh, kind of, one of them in particular is a new, fairly innovative design. And that's all Nicholas would tell me at CES. He wouldn't go into any details for me, but he seemed rather excited about it. So I'm excited to see it. We'll discuss it officially on our live stream and then he'll introduce those chairs to, to us uh, and to the world as through the through the live stream uh, format. OK, and so that'll be in March. And so stay tuned for that. By the way, for that one, we will finally have uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the live stream broadcast on our homepage, on our website. We've been working on that and trying to find the right plugin and, and, and coding that will make it work. And it looks like we've got something that will finally fit. So on, on our main banner that you'll see across the top, you see that on most websites. But on the, the right-hand side, that right third will be the live stream. And you can join in on the website and see it. And there'll be a little bit of a countdown ticker of when I think it'll be a countdown ticker. It'll have the date and the time that it'll be on for sure. And you can join us there or on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page or on the Twitter page to see what's uh, see what's new in the industry. Um, OK, so I have the, I have a customer who bought an Oco M8 from me just over, just about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And uh, he received a replacement chair for it. It's an Oco M8. Now, we don't sell those chairs anymore because, as I mentioned earlier a few times, uh, Furniture for Life, which is the U.S. distributor of these chairs, uh, they changed their business model. And now they're distributing their chairs not through, uh, you know, uh, massage chair showrooms like mine, but through their own stores. And so uh, we don't sell our chairs anymore. However, Clayton received a, uh, a replacement chair for his, which they deemed was unre un unrepairable at the time. And he just received it last week, and he wants to, he's going to sell it, uh, the new one, the brand new one. It's in a box. It's still on the pallet. It's it's still strapped up. It's not even been unpacked or opened. It's a brand new uh, midnight black colored Oco M8, and the the midnight black's a beautiful beautiful looking chair on the on the Oco model. Uh, and he's selling that one, including the, the hundred ninety five dollar chair cover that he got originally. And the warranty will transfer, and he'll take care of the warranty transfer for you. Um, and uh, he's and, and that chair retails, I think, for eleven ten nine nine nine. He's looking to sell for eighty nine ninety nine. And remember, this is an unopened box, unused. It is uh, pure and undefiled, if you will. And th that chair is available. So if you want to, if you want to uh, talk to, uh, if you want to talk to uh, Clayton about it, let me uh, let me give you the phone number. Uh, he lives in Washington, and his phone number is uh, two. Oh, what did I do with it? Just a minute. Oh, for heaven's sakes! Now I I I called him earlier today. Oh, two five three three nine one three one six nine. That's two five three three nine one three one six nine. And you can call him and ask him about the chair. And if you're interested in it, you can work it out with him. Uh, I, 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 we're not involved in the in the transaction at all. The transaction is strictly between you and him. But I am uh, I am uh, I'm just helping him out because he wants to sell that chair. So, anyways, give him a call if you're interested in, in a brand new brand new uh, midnight black Oco M8. Uh, uh, very very good chair. Okay, now we have so there are some sales that are coming up. Uh, there's not a lot of sales right now. It is a little quiet, but uh, Ogawa. And um, Ogawa and uh, Svago, which is the brand. Svago is also a brand of part of the Ogawa Cozy of JP Medics, but they're not massage chairs. They're recliners, and some of them have airbag uh, massage in it. Mostly just airbags that push on your back or I think even a vibration in one of them. I can't remember. But anyways, Ogawa has a sale 
uh, right now where they have all of their all of their massage chairs are discounted and you can see that on the website and then also uh, Svago has uh, discounts on their chairs right now until the end of February and of course they'll probably have something in March as well and I will keep you posted as to what those uh, what those sales will be but I haven't heard of any other things out right now uh, in terms of sales going so don't uh, don't uh, uh, don't, uh, I mean, there's just not a lot going on right now. It is kind of a quiet time after the, after the, uh, uh, new year. And that, because the, the black Friday through new, uh, January is a pretty busy time. Uh, February things kind of taper off a little bit. Of course, we've told you about all the new models that are coming out, like the master drive, uh, uh, Ogawa master drive duo, by the way, that chair comes fully assembled. It's a split track chair, uh, with, uh, with two sets of rollers, like all the split tracks have, uh, but this chair does not come disassembled. In other words, if you buy the chair, it comes fully assembled at 30, almost 32 inches. So if your doors are less than 32 inches, it's not going to fit through the door. And maybe your exterior door will fit, uh, but the interior doors, if they're 29 inches, like some of the older, well, not even some of the older, some of the in-home, the, the inside door widths are, it probably will not fit. And I understand it's not terribly easy to take that arm, the armrest off of that chair. You have to go in through the back from what I've been told. Now, we're getting our first floor model in the Arizona store. And we'll be able to tell you maybe a little bit more about the, well, we will definitely be able to tell you more about the chair, but maybe not more about how it assembles or how it can be disassembled. But anyways, just know it's a, it's, it's a good chair. It's a strong chair, split track, good stretch, great uh, airbag massage. But it, it 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 is limited when it comes fully assembled to a 31, it's a 31.9 inch doorway. So that is important for you to know if you're considering that chair. Um, also, you know, massage chairs, um, when I got in the business, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. My story is I'm a chiropractor by trade. And in 2002, right around then, I, I bought a human touch massage chair, the old HT125. It, it wasn't much. It was just a, basically a roller going up and on your back and paddles that s squeezed or squoze your calves. Didn't have foot massage. Uh, I mean, you could have bend your, you can bend your knees in, in that one and put your feet in a calf massager, but it didn't have arm airbags. It didn't have airbags anywhere. It was paddles in the calves and rollers up and down the back. Well, people that, I, and I got it so my patients could sit in while they're waiting to be seen by me. Or by our, you know, our, our in-house massage therapist, massage therapist. Well, as it turns out, a couple of my patients asked if they could get one of the chairs, like buy it, and I hadn't even thought about it. And so I contacted Human Touch and said, "Hey, can I sell these chairs?" Uh, and and they said, "Of course." And so we sold two of them, and one was to a, a to a, a, the daughter of a neighbor of mine. And she used to come in every week for headache uh, adjustments and massage. Well, the second one bought it for hip pain, but they bought it both around Christmas time. And I did not see them again for six more months. And I actually was uh, in the summertime, about six months later, I was in the summertime uh, working in the yard. And Gil, my neighbor across the street, who's the father of the one who bought the chair, um, he, I went over and chit chatted with him just as the neighbors tend to do. Uh, he was out working in his yard and, uh, I said, Hey, how's Jen doing? Uh, I haven't seen her in a while. He says, well, you know, that chair is pretty much taking care of all of her headaches. And I, and I was kind of shocked. I didn't, it didn't register at first. I thought, well, hold it. How can that help her headaches without her coming to the, to, to the clinic for adjustments for treatments? And then the second one came back, not maybe a week or two later, came to the showroom and, and I asked her, or not the showroom, that the clinic. And I asked her, how come we haven't seen you? Like, how are things going? She says, oh, that massage chair has <laughs> taken care of my hip and back pain. And I'm going, what the tickets? I'm actually putting myself out of business by selling these chairs. Well, then the entrepreneurial side of me uh, came to life. And I thought, wow, well, maybe I could sell these chairs. Well, so I did start selling them. While I was in the in my clinic, I had them in my clinic. I brought, in, I brought some in. I made a little bit miniature showroom with I think four or five chairs at the time. And, but we were selling primarily online. That's how we sold. We didn't sell many in the, in the, in the clinic. And so I remember uh, when I started the website, <coughs> I expected 
you know, not many sales uh, because we weren't selling much in the uh, in, in our in our clinic. <laughs> well, then, wouldn't you know it? About five months after I started the website, which was in June of 2005, we had our first sale in October. And I remember thinking, wow, we sold one. That's great. Well, I thought, hey, if I could sell one every month, that would be great. Well, then I sold more and more and more. And that was in October, right before Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's. Uh, what it, it turned out to be a very busy time. And uh, so I put the practice up for well, our first full year was 2006. And after that first full year, I realized that I did better in chiropractic. I mean, better in massage chair sales than I did in collections as a chiropractor. Now, that's not saying much because I was not a great chiropractic businessman. I think I'm a great technician um, and I still adjust my family, friends and neighbors to this day. But I am not. I am not. I, I was not a good businessman. So to say that we did better the first year than we did in our best year of, uh, of you know, 17 years in chiropractic, uh, that's, not, that's not saying a lot. But I decided I was going to put the practice up for sale. I did. We sold it in 2008, opened up our first store a couple of doors down. We're still in that store now. It's an old smoke shop. We need to move to a new store, by the way. And then, you know, then 2015, we opened the California, Southern California store. 2019, we opened the Arizona store. 2022, we opened up the Bay Area store. So that's kind of how it, it, the whole... Uh, thing blossomed, but the real, I told you, or, uh, and I told you that I told you, I just want you to know my story because I'm a chiropractor and my business is to help people with musculoskeletal pain, back pain, neck pain, headaches, sciatica, uh, just general joint discomfort or muscle discomfort or sore muscles. And, and chiropractic does very well with that. Well, the massage chairs were doing very well with that too. As I told you, two of my patients didn't need to come see me anymore. And, uh, and then we went and did a few of these home shows, you know, like uh, the home show, the uh, RV show. We, we did a few of those when we first started and people were lined up and you go to those now and you'll see, we don't do them anymore, but there's companies that travel, you know, traveling salesmen that go around the country and do these shows. Well, we had people come and sit on the chair for 10, 15 minutes and then see you. Nice to talk to you. I hope you had a nice time on the chair. Look us up. And they would come back. And this happened two or three times. They would come back either the same day or another day during the show. And they would say, hey, you know what? I can breathe better. Or I slept like a baby last night. Or my, um, my, uh, my, my, uh, uh, what was the other one? Oh, my, my migraine headaches are gone. Now, some people call them migraine headaches. If it's a cervicogenic headache that's based from the base of the skull, you know, the kind that kind of start back here and then go around your head. Those kinds of headaches can be helped a lot with a massage here. True migraine, eh, maybe not so much. But what I'm basically telling you is that the massage chair was doing way more than we thought it would do. As a matter of fact, it did way more right from the get go when I had two, cust two patients that were that stopped coming to me because I sold them a chair that worked uh, for, their, for their very complaint. So anyways, uh, the, the chairs we, we found were having all kinds of ul ulterior benefits that we had no idea about. We had, and, and I, I can say this because I, I'm not just throwing, and by the way, when we say that these things can be helped, doesn't mean it's a, it's a cure for insomnia or a cure for, uh, you know, disc disease or a cure for, uh, you know, uh, you know, respiratory problems. It's not, but it helps. It does. It just does weird things. Just like chiropractic does weird things sometimes when they, when you pop those bones or when you have a massage therapist working on your muscles, there's things that you'll realize, wow, this, I feel better. Like even if it's just a general state of well being improved from the way it used to be, you will notice changes with a massage chair. And we talked uh, a couple of few months ago about that survey I did with our customers. And we had about 300 responses and we asked them what complaints was it? What was the complaint that motivated you to uh, want to get a massage chair? And most of it, you know, were, I expected to see back pain, neck pain, headache, shoulder pain, sciatica, but a lot of them were stress and relaxation. They were terrifically stressed or they had trouble relaxing. And overall on the survey, 92% of the people received relief for the thing that they bought the chair for. 92%. That's a significant, statistically significant number for anything, let alone, you know, palliative care, feeling better. 
So anyways, there's really something to these chairs. And of course, it's, a, it's an extension of the hand massage, but it's so much more because a hand massage or, you know, a licensed massage therapist, they do great work, but they can only work on one area at a time, another area at a time. Uh, they cannot uh, roll on your low back and on your, they can't knead your low back and your uh, neck at the same time. They can't squeeze and compress your legs and your feet and your arms and your shoulders at the same time. They can't necessarily work on posture. Um, so th there's all these things. And plus, you can get relaxed getting a, a licensed massage therapist, but then you got to get up and get back in your car and drive in the traffic and go back to your home. And by the time you get back to your home, you're like, especially if it's like rush hour or raining or snowing like here in Utah. But uh, the, the bottom line is the, the massage chair is such a, a wonderfully convenient, practical and, and, and easily accessible therapy in your home. You don't need to go out. I mean, you might still need to go out. These chiropractic patients still came by every six months for a tune-up or maybe something that the, that the chair couldn't get. But uh, most of these people, uh, they had the pain relief and the, and, and the care that they needed at home where they didn't have to get dressed up, go out in the cold or the heat, didn't have to put on, uh, you know, a suit or nice clothes or, or they didn't have to shower, uh, you know, or shave or whatever. And they can just go sit in the chair in their home. And if it's by your bed, you can do it right before you go to bed or as soon as you get up after a workout, right before a workout. Um, by the way, they help with recovery as well. Massage chairs are, are a wonderful tool for recovery. And uh, so there are so many things that these chairs can do. It's really neat. And I, and I, I know I'm kind of sounding like a snake, a snake oil salesman. I don't mean to sound that way because I, I, I gave you that caveat that it doesn't mean it's, it cures everything. It doesn't. It's not that at all. It's just that when you work on the musculature and the neurology of the body to some degree, uh, you're going to see health benefits. You, ju you just are. And, and, and a highly successful rate of care, you know, 92% is nothing to, 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 you know, laugh at. It's significant. So anyways, I wanted to go into a little bit of that because I want you to understand, and a lot of people that watch these, these videos are people that are just starting to look for chairs. They don't really even understand what a chair can do. They just know maybe a friend had it or they saw it somewhere or they thought it would be cool to sit in it. But the therapeutic benefits are substantial and broad. And I want you to know that. Uh, also, I want you to know that it's very safe as well. Now, I've seen pregnant women on these chairs, like nine months pregnant. I've seen uh, diabetics on the chairs. I've seen people with pacemakers. I've seen people with heart monitors, myself being one of them. Uh, I, I've seen people with, uh, you know, a post-surgical not right after the surgery, but they have post-surgical pain and issues that that have happened that came about from uh, muscles being damaged during surgical procedures. And muscle, when I say muscles are damaged, I'm not saying the doctor is damaging muscles like it's some kind of malpractice thing. When someone goes in with a knife or some kind of surgical tool, there is damage to the tissue. Just like you bumping your arm against the door and you get a bruise. That's damage to the tissue. That's just like uh, um, uh, playing playing excessively hard in sports or weightlifting or something like that. And you, you're you tearing tissue. Okay. That's what weightlifting is. I'm not a weightlifter, as you can tell. But I do <laughs> do some exercise. And when you do that, it can make you feel like you're like very, very sore. And that is true because there is tissue being torn. And then it's rebuilt and it rebuilds better and stronger. And that's kind of, I don't know, that's just what our bodies go through. And these chairs can help so many people, regardless of their situation, their health situation. Uh, you've, you might have uh, post-surgical uh, scar tissue. You might have um, hips that are just, if you're a woman and you've just had a baby, you know, we, we've had six of them and, and it, and, and, Pregnancy blows, can literally, I hate to say blow blow your hips hard, but it kind of pushes them apart. Your hips get pushed apart and that changes the dynamics of all the muscles in your hips and your gird, the, the, the hip girdle, everything. And that has a kinematic connection to your low back and your knees. And so anyways, needless to say, these chairs can help with that stuff. 
and you can do it at home. And you might think, well, they're kind of expensive, aren't they? Um, well, you know what? If you're going to a massage therapist and a chiropractor and you're going in for pain meds, you know, regularly throughout the year, uh, you'll 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 pay for the chair in no time. So anyways, I guess this has turned into a bit of a, a, a sales pitch for massage chairs. But, you know, that's what I do. Hello. And uh, and I'm a big fan of them. So anyways, I hope I didn't bore you too much with this uh, with, with my story and with this uh, with this recording. But I hope it, it, it helped some people thinking about getting a massage chair and can it work for me? Can it help me? What do I need to be aware of? Uh, you know, I've given you a, a lot of good information here. So anyways, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, you know, thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel. Help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video with, or any of our videos with your friends and family on your social media platforms. And of course, um, uh, if you have any questions, you can just give us a call, 888-259-5380. We'd gladly take your call and answer any questions you have about chairs, about massage in general, about anything, or well, not anything, uh, but anything on this topic. So I hope you found it helpful. Anyways, I'm Dr. Alan Weider from Massage Chair Relief, and I will see you again in two weeks. Bye-bye.